the name Shovel, Sam Shovel. If you're ever in a jam, here I am. If you need a hired gun, I'm the one. If your cat's caught in a tree, call on me. If you're ever in need of an emergency appendectomy, call a doctor. Darn it, Jim. I'm a detective, not a doctor. It was a cold February night. I had just come into my office after a long, hard day of private eyeing, hoping to sit down and relax a bit, maybe peel the gum off my shoe, when I found this on my desk. Someone left it here for me to find. Someone sneaky. Someone who creeps in the shadows like a mouse on the lamb with a hunk of purloin cheese. Someone who knew I had a rough day and that I needed the sweet, tasty goodness of chocolate-covered macadamia nuts to cheer me up. Yummy, 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 I got kind of person would leave a present without an explanation. Fortunately, I found a clue. A woman's hair, brown. We dusted it for prints. We got a partial match on the suspect. So we brought her in for questioning. She was a tall drink of water. Young, but not too young. Hey. And she was already being defensive, so I knew she was hiding something, like a guy in a diet hides a trunk full of Twinkies. In the private eye world, we'd call her Madame X. My name is Helen. I'm your secretary. Oh yeah, Missy. Then how many lumps of sugar do I take in my coffee, hmm? I don't do coffee. Well, you're my secretary, all right. So tell me, Missy, are you in the habit of leaving packages around for people? Oh, you mean the candy? So, you admit you're the one who sent the package? Well, no, but I did leave a note. A note, huh? You mean... This envelope? Yeah, but the note is on the inside. And it reads, Sam, this package came for you. Your secretary, Helen. So, there was something inside the envelope. Clever girl. But I didn't send the package. It came through the mail. Then who sent it? I don't know. There was no return address. I guess it's just an anonymous gift. An anonymous gift? That's preposterous. I mean, how can you take credit for giving somebody a gift when it's given anonymously? Hmm? Doesn't make sense to me, Missy. Well, you know what they say, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Come again? It's an expression I heard at church. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. I had a cousin once whose left hand didn't know what his right hand was doing. Turns out his left hand was making a lot of long distance calls to Zimbabwe. Boy, when that right hand found out what was going on, he was none too happy. I'll tell you one thing, mister. There was a thumb wrestling match there that you wouldn't believe. Can I go now? Sure. You're free to go. Just uh, grab me some breakfast on the way out, will you? I don't do breakfast. I remembered hearing the expression before, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. It's from the Bible. Book of Levi. Or was it Matthew? Chapter 6, verse 3. After listening to Sam's monologue, it became clear to me that he still didn't get it. I had to try another tactic. So Sam, that's a nice tie there you've got. Yes ma'am, bought it myself at Sears. Where'd you get the money to do that? Money ma'am. Nobody gave me the money ma'am. I earned it, the old fashioned way. Worked hard, delivered pizzas at night, sold snow cones on the weekends. I see. Well, who gave you the legs to deliver those pizzas? And the hands to, to make those snow cones? And who gave you the brains to solve all those mysteries? Well, ma'am, that would be God. So if God hadn't given you all those things, all your talents, your gifts, then um, you wouldn't be able to earn any money to buy nice ties and nice shoes? Now, would you then? Well, I suppose you're right, ma'am. 
And if you think about it, everything that you have, from your time to your abilities, your hands, all your possessions, everything that you have right now are all gifts from God. Well, ma'am, I'd have to say you're correct. And a couple extra special gifts even that looks like you got here. Well, the hazards of the trade, ma'am. The gal was really blowing my mind. I mean, my head was twirling faster than Neil and Daniel in a two-man sit-and-spin. Everything I had was a gift from God. That meant that everything I could give someone else also belonged to God. So I'd been taking credit for my generosity when God actually deserved the recognition. Now he was catching on. It's good to give and serve others. It's even better to give in secret. Because then God gets all the credit. That's why I didn't tell him that I sent the candy. What was that? Nothing. Well, I think I've got it now. But this doesn't get me any closer to finding out who sent me these chocolates. Now I won't be able to give them any sort of reward for their kindness. That's okay. I'm sure that God will find a way to reward them somehow. Yes. Hey, you know, I think I'm going to go out and get my secretary a bouquet of flowers. I think it would really give her day a boost. That sounds like a really good idea. Don't tell her, okay? I want to test out this Secret Service stuff. I won't. I won't.